Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologist Gaming. Today, we're going to do the short unboxing and also an overview of the Deepcool Matrix 50 Mesh 4S case and the SD500 GPU holder. Let's do the unboxing! Inside the box, you will find the Matrix 50 Mesh 4FS case itself. For the box of ST500, you will find the user's manual, the dual slot PCIe bracket, some screws and support pillars, and lastly, the ST500 GPU holder itself. Let's go to the specifications and features. The case has dimensions of 442 by 210 by 479 millimeters with a weight of 7.31 kilograms. The GPU holder has dimensions of 305.5 by 94 by 38 millimeters with a weight of 268 grams. Let's go first to the case. The case uses a 4 millimeter thick tempered glass. To remove it, you just need to untighten the four screws on the corners. For now, the case only comes in black color scheme. The case can fit the common micro ATX motherboard and ATX motherboard but it can also have a mini ITX and E80X. The CPU cooler has 160mm of clearance. For the GPU, a maximum of 370mm. The cable holes of the case don't have any rubber grommets, which is a downer. But as Deepco said, this is their budget case. The PSU shroud also has holes for the USB and audio cable. A hole for the GPU cable can be also found here. For the front panel, the front has a mesh cover. The mesh is not just a straight rectangular shape that is good to look at. The mesh panel can be removed without the front panel. The case includes 4 RF 120FS fans, which are tricolor RGB fans. Three in the front and one at the back. These fans are not syncable. The case has seven expansion slots. The six covers though are not modular, so once removed, you cannot put it back. To open the back panel, you just need to untighten the two thumb screws and slide it out. The reason why the fans are not syncable is because they are powered by a Molex cable, which is a downer. When you open the back panel, you will find the accessories included in a zip plug bag. There are two 3.5-inch driver bays and can be converted as 2.5-inch driver bays. The cage itself is not removable but adjustable by I tighten the screws below. There are also two 2.5-inch driver bays mounted at the back of the case for your SATA SSDs. There are enough holes for cable ties and Belco straps found at the back for easy management of your cables. The clearance between the compartment and the back panel is 24mm. It's enough space to run your cables. It supports up to 170mm of clearance for your regular ATX power supply. A power supply dust filter can be found below the case, but it's not magnetized. As what Deepcool is known for their cases, there is enough space to put an AIO at the top. The top can support up to 240mm radiator. For the front, it can support up to 360mm radiator. And at the back, it can only support 120mm radiator. At the top of the case, it also includes a dust filter that is magnetized. The branding of deep cool can be also found at the top. For the front panel I.O., you will find the power button, USB 3.0 port, two USB 2.0 ports, audio ports, and the reset button. Now let's go for the GPU holder. The ST500 comes in a black color scheme. It has three adjustable axes. Below, you will find the holes where you can put the pillar. To install the pillar, you just need to tighten it to the hole you want to put the pillar in. The GPU holder includes a female and male of both 3-pin BDG cable and 3-pin ARGB cables. This is an ARGB holder, so it will light up. You can see the illumination in the front. I connected it for now in my LED strip. It won't give justice to how bright is the illumination. I will turn off the lights so you can see it glow. To install the ST500, you will need a dual slot bracket, some screws, and the ST500 itself. First, you need to install the bracket on the expansion slot of your case. Next, 
insert the ST500 GPU holder on the bracket. Tighten the screws to where you want the GPU holder to be aligned or placed. And lastly, adjust the two access points for your GPU. Let's build a PC! Here are my final thoughts. For my overall experience building with this case, it was easy and manageable for beginners who will build their PC. Cable management is not a problem at all using the case. You may need to adjust the cage so you can use big power supplies especially modular ones. The lighting of the fans is good but then again I don't like the Molly's connection because it will just run at full power and it will be loud always. For the build quality of the case, it is good. I just don't like the expansion covers which are not modular and we don't have grommets for the cable holes. But overall, you get the quality of what you paid for using this case. For the GPU holder, I love how they build it and it's not a waste of engineering on the side of deep cool. They thought about its design and function wise. I can say this is the solution of GPU sagging. Just be cautious in using the GPU holder as it might not fit on other cases with non-modular expansion covers. You can buy these deep cool products for the price around 3,100 pesos for the deep cool matrix 50 mesh for FS and 800 pesos for the ST500 GPU holder at your nearest computer stores like Joyo Marketing, Newtech, Excom Computer Sales, and other retail stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.